Hi there friends, my name is Scott, this is Tech Talk, and today we're going to be unboxing and setting up this Google Home Mini. Stay tuned, that's coming up right now. Okay, so this is the Google Home Mini. It comes in this great packaging. I've actually taken off the seal here just to make it a little bit easier for us. But as you open it up, you can see right away you get this really gorgeous view of the Google Home Mini. And uh, I got the chalk white version. I think it looks really, really fantastic. It has that uh, light gray uh, covering on the speaker up top here. You've got a nice rubber uh, matting, this orange matting on the bottom to keep this thing in place. We have a USB mini power uh, plug opening right there, as well as the microphone uh, button over here. Uh, yeah, let's see what else is in this box here. Okay, so underneath the uh, the packaging, we've got a, uh, a getting started guide. You can pull that out. And we also have the power cable here. There's the power cable. See, it's the uh, USB-C. And uh, yeah, the plug there. So really high quality uh, cabling there, it looks like. And uh, I believe that's about it for the packaging. You can see that there's nothing else in there. I'm going to put that off to the side, and we'll get started getting this thing set up. Okay, so we've got it plugged into the wall now. You can see you got the USB-C plug that comes up here. We're just going to stick it right into our power port. And if you watch, there'll be a few lights that will begin coming on right here, showing that this thing is powered up. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, Slide the switch on the back of Google Home. Okay, so as you heard, Google lets you know that you need to connect to an app, and it actually gives you some really quick starting instructions. The mic's back on. Now, to turn the mic back on, as you heard, you just slide it over, and you can actually see when you have the, the white showing, means the microphone is now on. So we're going to go ahead and download the app right now and we'll walk through the process on my phone. Okay, so we are currently in the Google Play Store. Uh, this is on my Android device. Uh, if you are using an iPhone, you're gonna be using your App Store on your iPhone. I'm just gonna go type in Google Home here, and once that pops up, we're gonna click on that option, and I'm gonna go ahead and install the Google Home app. Okay, now that we've downloaded the app, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you're using your specific Gmail account or Google account. And we're gonna allow it access to our nearby Wi-Fi signal. And we are now ready to set up our Google device. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the top button that set up one device. We'll click on that. So we're gonna select the default home here, and we're gonna start looking for devices. Now, as long as your Google Home Mini is on, the app should automatically discover the device. And as you can see, it's found a Google Home Mini. So I'm gonna click yes, and we're gonna walk through the setup process. Okay, it connected, and as you can hear, Google Home Mini made a little sound, and I'm gonna click the yes button. I'm gonna click uh, no thanks for this improved analytics. And we're gonna choose where this device is going to be primarily located. I'm actually gonna keep this in our bedroom. So I'm gonna click on bedroom down there at the bottom. Click on next. And we can actually give it a specific room name if we want. I'm gonna keep it a uh, regular bedroom. Okay, now we need to connect to our Wi-Fi signal and we're gonna go ahead and enter the password for our specific Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in our password here and we'll move on. Okay, it's connecting to our Wi-Fi network now. And there we go, it connected. Okay, a few things to read here, uh, just to understand how this device is linked up to other applications, and I'm gonna hit next. 
Okay, we can also teach uh, the Google Assistant what our voice sounds like, so it can pick up different settings for people in your home. I'm gonna click no thanks at this point, and I can go back and do that step at a later date. Okay, so this is a great way to access your calendar, contacts, reminders, those kind of things. I'm gonna turn this portion on, just remember that anybody using this in your home will be able to have these same results. So be aware of that, and I'm gonna go ahead and click I agree. Okay, this is a section where we can choose our assistant's voice. Let's listen to sample two here. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Okay, so that's a male voice, and then let's check out the voice one. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So voice one is the normal female voice. I'm gonna keep it on the female voice, and we'll click next. Okay, we're gonna enter our address on this page. Entering that will give you local services like traffic and weather. Okay, if you have Spotify, which we do, this is a great way to connect to Google. That way it can play your Spotify services over the device. And you, remember, you do have to have Spotify Premium in order for Google to work properly. Okay, I'm gonna log into Spotify from here and we can move on. Okay, just remember that when you are giving Google access to your Spotify account, here's all the things that you're allowing it to do. So you're allowing it to view your Spotify account data, view your activity on Spotify, and also take actions on Spotify on your behalf. So I agree to this. I'm gonna click the agree button and we'll move on. Okay, at this point we can add video services. So if you have some of these accounts, you can actually link them up here and that way Google can automatically play them on your display or TV devices. So we've got a Netflix account and I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Okay, just like Spotify, you have to remember that you're giving Google access uh, to Netflix through your account. So I'm gonna log in here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and sign up in a link. Okay, so just pick your profile you want that your Netflix account to be linked to. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit, click confirm here. Now, if you have any of these other accounts, you can walk through that process as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. So if you have any Chromecast devices in your home, you can actually link up your Google Home Mini with those devices. We do have a Chromecast on one of our TVs, so I'm gonna make sure that's linked. Tell Google which room of the house that your Chromecast is located in. I'm gonna click on bedroom, click next. Okay, this also gives you the option to stay up on the latest information from Google. I'm gonna click no thanks just because I don't want extra email. And at this point, we are all done. So there's a few other additions you can give it. You can give it a payment method. That way you can order things over the Home Mini. You can change your caller ID or you can change your video playback. So at this point, I'm gonna hit continue and uh, everything is ready to go. So let's go ahead and give this thing a, uh, a try. Hey Google, play workout mix on Spotify. Okay, here's a Spotify playlist called Hip Hop Workout Mix. I'm out of my head, out of my mind, oh why? If you let me, I'll be out my dress and into your arms and I'm... Okay, here's a quick overview of the touch controls. As you can see, if you tap on the left side of the device, you will actually volume down. The right side, you will volume up. You can also do long press for play or pause on either side, and that will give you manual controls over your Google Home Mini. Hey Google, what's the weather outside? Right now in Colorado Springs, it's 20 and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 32 and a low of 14. All right, there you go. That is the setup process. Again, first impressions, uh, really, really liking this thing. The speaker sounds fantastic. It has a very simplistic, really good-looking design. Uh, I'm excited to get, get going on this thing and see what its uh, capabilities are. So thanks for watching. Hope that's helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. we got a lot more uh, tips and tricks and tutorials coming up real soon for this device and a lot of others. Thanks for watching, folks.